Okay, my package has arrived. Memphis Shades. Got the Speed Demon windshield in the smoke color, black smoke. Here's your part number. Okay, so today I'm going to put on the Memphis Shades Speed Demon windshield in dark smoke. Uh, when I started riding bikes uh, back in the East Coast, we did not have helmet laws. And um, it is a lot different with a helmet on at 60 miles an hour plus. Uh, uh, back then I was young and full of vigor and uh, you know, we were just out free willing it, hair in the breeze. Well, a little older now, maybe a little wiser want a little more comfort and uh, wearing a helmet here in California, be it a half helmet, full helmet, uh, that wind will knock you back and it will tire you out after a while, especially if you feel like making a long trip down the highway. So uh, this would be my first bike with a windshield. I checked out a bunch of different ones, Harley, some other brands, um, but I like this one. And I did a lot of research on heights, uh, general consensus is you want a windshield when you're riding the top of the windshield should be about at your nose you don't want to be looking through the windshield during normal driving conditions um, the windshields will provide relief from that but they also can give you some buffeting especially on the helmet um, fortunately adjustment of the windshield has alleviated that for most people so we're gonna have to put it on see how it goes and work from there all right stick along okay so on our Memphis shades windshield install I'm hoping that I don't have to remove this apron I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to because by the looks of it, that comes down and fits around this headlight. It's not the end of the world because you're probably not going to see it back here, but if I didn't have to, I didn't want to. And we may have to relocate this clutch cable guide. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, you know, I didn't see a lot of reviews or installations of the Speed Demon windshield. Uh, saw a lot of their other brands, uh, Del Rey and Rio, uh, those sorts. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be interested. This will be a learning experience for the both of us, all of us. Let's see what we got here. Now, from what I understand, with the metal shades, once you pick out your attachment hardware, which I've got in polished uh, you can subsequently change out different shields and not have to buy the mounting hardware this black smoke I'm hoping it's not too dark from all the information I find I think it's what I want it's very bright here in Southern California uh, I happen to be a little sensitive to light myself, so a good pair of sunglasses and perhaps some shaded windshield. Oh yeah, oh that's not too dark at all, that's not too dark at all, that, I don't know how that comes across in here, but that is... That is exactly what I was hoping for. It's a nice dark tint. Uh, the other options were one called Solar, which is I believe was 70 some odd percent light pass through where this is less than 50. Yeah, I, I can get you the numbers. You go to the website, you'll, you'll find the numbers. I know that they had one other one that was darker than this, but it didn't seem available for this one here. So, uh, okay, so I'm pleased with that. Now you notice, that the difference between the Speed Demon and their other ones is it has this 
kick out here, which kind of looks like it. it's going to help with around the handlebars and the controls. Uh, and I kind of like that because I didn't really want to put a fairing on. Uh, you know, I'm new to this whole putting stuff on a bike thing. All my previous bikes have been stripped down, you know, cruisers out in the countryside uh, on the East Coast. Uh, but man, this West Coast is spread out and it's beautiful and we want to get on the highway and see some stuff. So we need a little, we need a little help on the highway. Let's see how it mocks up. I'm liking it. Let, let's see how it goes. Okay. So the orientation they require is this facing forward, this on the outboard side. Uh, in order to get this clamp around here, move that out of the way, you gently flex this and get it around here. You place this one in place here. And then what you've got to do is kind of just get under here and create a little space for those two to interlock. I'm going to get a non-marring tool. set this here and we are going to lift this up just a touch get those two to interlock like that and then slide these down together like that it's not too bad you just can be careful you don't want to scratch anything now on this side here, that's where your bolt's going to go through. Most important thing, do not cross thread this. This, just take your time, line it up, get it started by hand. If it won't go by hand, back it out. Get you started by hand. Once you're a few threads in, you're good. Now I'm going to come back and put some Loctite on those. They want you to separate these by roughly two inches, then the whole unit is adjustable up and down. Now we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, well that side fought me a little bit. Clutch cable kind of gets in the way. Turn the wheel a little bit. We got it. Okay, we're going to mount these brackets to the windshield. I'm going to disassemble the hardware here. And we're going to remove these grommets. We're going to insert the grommets into the windshield 
basically you're going to just fold them up a little bit and work your way around push it through and make sure that it returns nice and flat on the other side just take your time work it around and there you go flat on this side flat on that side and we're going to take these mounting grommets and push them in from the outside like that and then these inboard ones have got slots on them they line up here We'll set that behind and yeah, we'll get us a little Loctite ready first. We'll load that a Loctite on here. A little dab. A little dab. Okay. Just through here. Grab the fastener. And assembly note, these tabs should point towards the center of the windshield when you're assembling. Okay. Line her up. Line her up. Start everything by hand. Grab the supplied Allen wrench. Snug her down. Now at this point, I'm leaving everything kind of lucid there. So we get her all figured out. Now we'll do the other side. I don't know if you all are, but I'm a fan of the street outlaws. Watching the fastest in America 3 right now, so shout out to the MSO. JJ and the boys and girls, ladies are doing quite well. I won't spoil anything. But it's a good one. This is a good season. If you haven't watched it, you watch this season three. Fastest in America. It's uh they got guys throwing down, they got people losing their minds. It's it's good, good stuff. Okay, so that's loosely mounted there. Now we'll go towards pre-setting up our brackets on the forks. Okay. So, they say to start out with roughly a two inch split between these here now. I can't decide whether to start them at the top, start them at the bottom. Uh, you know, I'm a fairly tall person, so I think I'm going to start these at the top here. And they want these roughly two inches apart. So we'll slide these up here. And we'll get these roughly two inches apart. Doesn't seem like a whole lot, but... What's that? Okay. That's roughly two inches apart there. Okay. 
they're saying to start with this fork bushings here. Mm. That was snug. Towards the rear here. And then work your adjustment afterwards. Okay. Okay, so we've got our mounting brackets mocked up. I set everything up in place, snapped it on, kind of made some rough adjustments. So you can see, let's show you how you put it on. You're going to take the bottom two, and they're going to slide in the center of these grooves on these bushings. Push them into the seat. And just slide it back. The upper grooves will engage like that. Let me get you closer here. See if we can get a better look at that latch assembly there. Just move right in there. And this latch right here, push it down. And then there's a safety release here. Make sure that slides back in. So to release it, you slide this back, lift it up. To lock it on, you push down. You make sure this goes back in all the way. And she's on. These two are on sliders. You can loosen them. Let's get you a better look. Okay. So these two right here, these you can loosen up. And you can tilt this windshield forward and backward. And that's usually where most guys have to play around a little bit. Get out there on the road. See how the wind comes off depending on your height. The angle of your windshield. And uh, seems to be that there's plenty of adjustment. You can also loosen these. Slide the whole windshield up or down. I was fortunate that I did not have to remove the cover on top of my headlight it fit plenty it's got a nice radius that matches the headlight radius here and uh, it looks good the color is not too dark the height seems about right for me let's see what we got here straight out with my nose is right about where they're recommended during normal riding you should be looking out over now of course you're going to be looking through the windshield especially when you're coming up on close traffic and parking lots and such but for the most part if you're looking out you can see over the top of this I can see over the top of this I'm quite pleased we're going to get it on the road and see how it performs and we'll come back and let you know Memphis Shades. Well, one other thing I found very uh, interesting in the instructions. Do not clean this with anything but soap and water. No Rain-X, no Windex, no any X. Like they say in there, if it hurts your nose, it'll hurt the windshield. Soap and water only. All right. Ride safe. All right. So that's it. The Memphis Shades Speed Demon Windshield. In Dark Smoke, 2018 Lowrider. I think they knocked it out the park. Stick with me, Timinator's Garage. We got some more mods coming up on the 18 Lowrider. Maybe looking at some forward controls. Maybe some different bars. Any suggestions? Let us know. Leave a comment in the link below. Ride safe, y'all. Well, all right, that's it. Memphis Shade Speed Demon Windshield. Simba gives it.
Two paws up, baby. Ride safe, y'all.